In video 79, I drew a ribbon which had five, four, five, four. It had four rows of dots. But now in this video, we've added a row of dots. So this has become a six stranded ribbon. And it's the same um, number uh, that we're using. So it's five, four, five, four, but with an added five dots underneath. Now, previously in video 79, you would see that we had to use three different lines in order to create our one ribbon. However, when we did that, we could vary the same forms with the one within the one ribbon. What I want to show you today is how we can also vary the forms, but it ties in with the video from last week, so vi video 81. And I want to show you how you can do that. Although these ribbons, I've drawn them up already, so we don't need to draw them. I'll just show you here that it is one line that we're working with. So we're drawing our ribbon here with one line, going all the way to the end, then turning round, coming back, down to the end, going back the way, and then back to the other side, and then coming back the way here, and then up to the very side, then we're turning down and then up to the very end and then turning around and coming back. So as you can see, this is one line. So my line got a little bit wonky here, but never mind. What I want to show you is how in the video 81, I showed you how we're working really with different forms of triangles and squares within our ribbon. And now I want to show you how even within this very, perhaps you might think boring looking, um, quite samey looking ribbon, it's sort of just a big grid with lots of lines and they're all running kind of diagonally, how you can actually vary this. As you can see here, I've drawn up the first two shapes that I think are quite interesting in this ribbon. So it's sort of a little bit like a fish shape. And underneath here, I have a sort of blue fish shape. And I can see that I've just missed making the last few dotted lines. So I've drawn up the dotted lines here to indicate that it's sort of happening underneath the red shape here. So what we can do is we can quickly fill this in just to give us a sort of feel. For the difference between the two shapes. So now you get a sense that the blue is sort of sitting underneath the outline of the red. And you'll get that even more if I draw this up with the red. Of course, you can make this any color you like. It's really just to illustrate that there's two shapes there that are overlapping. And I've made them so, you know, you could say, well, this is one, uh, square and here's another square and the blue square sits underneath the red square and then there's a sort of red thin shape or triangle um, and it's mirrored by a sort of blue triangle or thin shape but it sits underneath the red so i hope that's clear but let me show you another couple of examples of forms that you could work with within the same ribbon
you can see here, we actually have the same form, uh, the same square that's repeating across the ribbon. And really, when we're doing this as well, it's very much a case of pattern recognition and, of course, a good bit of um, imagination. What shapes can you find in your ribbon? Let me show you the last one. Here you can see I've actually played with the form a little bit more. I've played with the interaction between the yellow and the red, creating um, an orange, so an illusion of the two colors mixing by coloring this in orange. But you can play with your own colors and you can play with actually making the different areas of your forms and different forms, different shading, so you can shade it light uh, on the outside and deeper towards a, a darker color towards the middle. You can give it um, multiple colors in within one form. There's absolutely no limits to what you can do. But it's really to show you that within the same ribbon, many different possibilities exist. And although a ribbon may look quite samey because it just goes uh, up and down the same way when you're actually doing it with a few dots or more dots you know it's maybe a big ribbon it's maybe a very long ribbon you're creating you can actually play with the different forms so that's all for this week i'll be back next week with a new form drawing exercise for you